for them in all ways. Habari Ghani, Assalamu Alaikum, Shalom, and all the wonderful words that bring greetings to another fellow human being. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra, and of course, this is the Realities Temple on Earth. Uh, I am doing a revision on an original series that I had posted to my account prior to uh, the suspension of my original account. And I'm doing it uh, live, so, and in, in a way, I think it's probably better anyway. Give you something uh, more so to focus on rather than just a, a picture. Uh, I reposted uh, the video series, uh, which originally was called The White Man, Ruler of This World. It is now called White Power, Finally Understood. Reposted, and the black woman made man. Uh, reposted just recently, uh, the black man uh, could be God. And this is the last of the, uh, the long series. Uh, which I think is also important. And if you put them all together, then our understanding of what we truly must do uh, could be, you could probably see uh, it more clearly. And if you are seeing more clearly, you also understand that what has been done in the past and our understanding of how we think like the past that does not work. Now, there was a song by Salt and Pepper. Uh, it was called, Let's Talk About Sex, Baby. Let's Talk About You and Me. <laughs> Y'all remember that back in the, in the 80s, I think. Early 90s or somewhere around that. Send a shout out to Salt and Pepper. We're going to talk about sex. And some of y'all might think that it's, it's nasty or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to make it nasty, but, I, but before I actually get into the series, I do want to warn you uh, that I might get a little, it might seem a little bit derogatory or a little, little filthy type language as I get into the video, but uh, so if you have children, you might not want children to listen, but we're speaking not from uh, a, a vow uh, heart or man. This is our reality and our children should uh, be exposed to positive sex talk rather than that foolishness and the wickedness that sexual behavior, sexual activity has been portrayed in our community. So, sit, if you have a child, let them listen to the video also. Let them sit with you and talk about and discuss what is being said. Now, let's get let's get this party started, right? Right. Now, the beginning of this video has nothing to do with the subject matter, but it is sad when your words of peace are attacked. Those that have become my enemy for no known reason except difference of opinion, have become so sick in the mind that you cannot even offer them peace. I am not like those past racist Caucasian persons who claim to come in peace, smiled in the face of the native people, and then stole their lands away from them, destroyed their way of life, almost making them become extinct. Barack Obama represents a nation like that. And to my knowledge, until recently, have never offered an apology to these native persons nor to the Africans this nation enslaved and enjoyed, I said that again, this nation enjoyed free human labor for over 300 years. And yet those who question my words of peace are patriotic and loyal to this nation that has caused great havoc and murder among the human family. I 
have never harmed another human being in my life. The last physical fight I ever had was in the 10th grade, forced to defend myself from a young man just determined for some reason or another to make me an example. I have no criminal record. I do not smoke or drink. I am no longer a believer in God, but I firmly believe in some form of what is called morality. But yet, my peace is mocked or questioned. I have done no evil to no one, but yet some have decided to actually hate me. Hate me for what? Hate me because I suggest to black people to question these Caucasians in power and defend my black females from attack from brothers who have become mentally ill as man must be sick in order to attack the female who is the mother of his society. His only means to enter the future and connect with the creation. Regardless to what condition you may find her, her condition reflects the male's sorrowful condition and his refusal or inability to protect her from the influences that cause her to become what he is complaining about. So, when persons bring you hate, when you offer them peace, have done nothing to these individuals, with no doubt have become sick and should be considered extremely dangerous. Such individuals may in fact look like black men, look like black women, but they are not your or my brothers and sisters. They have become filled with rage due to our rejection of an agenda to blame black women for the ills of the black community. Something that is false. And I, and any person in their right mind, cannot accept because at the root is racism and the struggle to survive in a society designed to keep the dark peoples in a submissive position by any means necessary. And one method is to place on purpose the black woman in a superior role so that conflict may arise between her and her man. Do y'all understand? The man is taught he is the protector, something he has not done since being brought to these shores and provider of the family. Also something he lacks. As his income is shrinking and his female's income is rising. He is taught to become the dominant one. But conflict arises because this female is placed into a position she is quite capable of doing things herself. And she refuses to submit to the authority this male believes believes he has a right to by nature. Even though he offers the female no protection from foreign influence, as well his able to provide is, uh, is, is now in question. His ability to provide is now in question. Regardless whether or not he fulfills his role as given to him by males, who have become dominant over females. He becomes angry at the female because she refuses to submit to males that have no power. Offer no protection. Males that depend on the white man for his own existence. And allow these same whites who have shown hatred for his dark skin. Allow these to determine his future and control his very thoughts. These males such as this have become enemies of the black community and at the same time to want the best for our community but have an obsession with wanting black women to be held accountable for their actions of exposing how weak this black man has become and instead of accepting his faults and working on that which has made him weak these black men choose to shun their own accountability to wishing to make public the faults of black women. That's same. They have an obsession with equal opportunity finger pointing. This is sick and sad as they have become just as ignorant and mentally ill, even worse than the black women they complain about. 
above all for grown men and women, all of it, it is very infantile and childish, but many have found it quite entertaining to watch other ignorant people at war. Maury Povich has dedicated over 90% of his show to bring in this foolishness to the small screen and many tune in to watch how immoral and foolish we've become. Clowns and court justice of the world. These videos run real, uh, run out real quick, so I'll catch you on part two. Hold on. All right, here we go, part two. We was talking about Maury Povich. And on his show, the Maury Povich show, it shows how these uh, uh, black men and women are foolish to bring their immoral behaviors on television in front of millions of people. They show uh, how ignorant they are, the back and forth bickering and senseless debating. Both sides refusing to accept the root cause and the root cause is living in a racist society. They offer no solutions at all except for men, uh, women uh, should submit to them regardless if they are or are not fulfilling the role they claim as being men. And they want women to give themselves to them regardless if they behave as a man should or not. So with no doubt, these men who have dropped so low to attack the mothers of their communities as well as attack the offers of peace from those that have never brought them harm are dangerous individuals and enemies of the black community. Of which brings me to the subject of this video and apparently one of the reasons why these young, mostly black males are, are, are very upset uh, involved in this conflict it has caused them having problems getting sex from females. That, is, that in itself should make you go, what? Duh! You're talking about women, you're down them, and then you expect somebody to lay down with you? Duh! If we know that a racist society has caused this problem among us, if the male is wise, why shouldn't he humble himself to his, to his female and be proud of her and, a, and her achievement? If she is the breadwinner, who cares? We all are eating the same bread, ain't we? Our family's being taken care of. Money don't make you a man. You can still offer her protection and stabilize the family unit. You don't have to earn all the money in order to be in control and what and, and, and uh, what is happening within your family unit? The nature of women is to submit to her protector, not necessarily to just man, to whomever is her protector, to submit to strength, ha, and wisdom. When a male shows her these things, no matter how much money she is earning, she will back down, she will back away, and allow that man. To handle things, in fact, with great pride, she has no problem with saying, my man got this. I see it all the time. I see it all the time. A guy, brother, he don't have to have all the money in the world. He don't have to have all the smarts. But if he is offering that woman protection, he is moving in a direction to not only uplift his personal family unit but uplift the black community itself that black woman would back off no matter how smart and intelligent she might want to be she'll back off I don't care how much money she make she will submit to that man and be happy to say Woo, look at my man he taking care of business that's not a myth that's reality as a wise female also understands the role of racism and will not allow the enemy to influence her mind and divide her family. Most 
men or men must men must stop tripping on these traditional roles that they believe they ought to be as these roles even for Caucasian men or white men have changed as usually we know that it basically takes two incomes now to raise a family. We should stop being so foolish and silly and give the woman her respect for earning her share of the income. And brother, believe you this, y'all will get more sex with no doubt. And that's the subject of this video. <clears throat> it is really sad, but it is also good that we are obsessed with what is known as sexual intercourse. That usually being the male penis entering the female's vagina. What is sad is that this act of sex has become painted as a vile and nasty thing portrayed to being uh, a demented monster that it is used only for pleasure seeking and within this society there is countless books, videos, movies as well as uh, the pornography is dedicated to the subject matter of sex. Men and women talk about the sex act every day. It is amazing to me that placing a penis into a vagina brings some, so much adulation and sparks so much joy. Of course, what we call sex, that is uh, not sex, as sexual intercourse is designed for the re reproduction of a species. If the penis is not made to go within the vagina, we do not have sexual intercourse, thus we are not talking about sex. You might be doing something, but you're not having sex. You might be doing something, it's called sex, but it's not. It's disguised as sex. During the act of sexual intercourse, Nature tricks the male or female by giving them temporary pleasure. Just long enough, sperm may be transferred to the female in order that another life be created. You are not having sex. Let me say this again, cause I, and I want y'all to hear me, hear me. You are not having sex by sucking the penis. Now, if you have children in the room, you might want them to leave. But I will, I'm just going to tell you, perhaps just sit with the child. Let them listen to this video so they don't get involved and hooked up in the madness that we, or that is portrayed, or have been taught to us within the society. So even though I might talk a little, it might seem a little rough. Guide your child so they can understand. You and them can learn together. We can learn together. You are not having sex by placing your mouth on the shaft of a penis. By licking a vagina or placing the penis into the anus or using some uh, made up rubber thing shaped like a penis going into a vagina, going into an anus as a result life cannot be produced and the so called pleasure is manufactured it's not real you trying to make it real due to your and I have a simple mind minds that are immature and actually have fallen below the level of animals. We believe we are getting pleasure from demeaning and degrading and vile acts. This is because in this society sex is made to become a dirty thing and it is done in excess. Even in animals, even in beasts to be uh, uh, to uh, Animals are not obsessed with this sex thing. They do what must be done and then wait for the next breeding period. 
We do not see animals obsessed with sex because they know the result will be to produce life. And then the adult's life is over because now they are dedicated to make sure this life that the sex has produced reaches adulthood and given the skills needed for survival of which people have not learned this lesson. As countless children do not have sufficient parents and the children are not given the skills needed in order to survive. Thus we see a great chaos in society and extreme vile and criminal behavior in this society. Sexual, sexual intercourse is natural. It's natural for us to be involved in a beautiful, it is a beautiful activity between the male and the female if not looked upon in such a filthy manner as it has been painted within society. These are this series and all the videos if you put them together, beautiful videos. Hold on, I think we're going on to part three. Hold on. We were talking about sexual intercourse. It's natural and it's a beautiful activity. Uh, but the way society but the way society paints sex makes it filthy and nasty. There are two forms of the sexual act. One is called just having sex. Then another is called making love. And there's a difference and I'm going to explain. Please excuse my words because I wish to make a difference. Um, what is known as having sex is also known as fucking. What is fucking? Fucking basically is just person looking for the pleasure that comes with the act of sexual intercourse. But this pleasure is very minute, is very fleeting. And for some, it becomes like an addiction caused by drugs uh, or the use of drinking liquor. Fucking's only purpose is pleasure. So when you fuck, this means that you can include licking the vagina, sucking the penis, grabbing rub pieces of these rubber. Uh, uh, battery operated machines and whatever else they can get their hands on. Trying anything you can, trying all kinds of different positions or whatever as possible. Uh, being more acrobatic than Ringling Brothers. All this is part of what is called fucking. Just like using drugs or drinking alcohol, the feeling is very temporary when you are involved in fucking. And the so-called pleasure is not real. It's manufactured. It is delusional. This is why you must indulge in the activity over and over again. That's why you got to talk about sex over and over again. It becomes an addiction. It's an obsession. And the pleasure is temporary. This obsession with fucking does not come without risk. There are many diseases waiting to get in on the act. And some diseases will cause death. So instead of creating life, fucking can cause death. Fucking also creates health problems that society doesn't like to talk about. As the penis is not meant to be sucked. After time, the penis will begin to suffer problems like erectile dysfunction as well as other problems of the urinary tract. Also, 
excessive ejaculations uh, due to the act of fucking, but also what is called masturbation or uh, arousing, using your hand or whatever to to uh, cause the penis to ejaculate will bring disease to the prostate gland. And prostate cancer has become one of the biggest killers of black men. But you know, I guess it's worth it for the so-called pleasure. And as you're dying, I guess you're enjoying that pleasure also. The vagina is not meant to be licked. The protective fluids are taken away, causing yeast infections, opening up the vagina for attack by many microorganisms. In the, uh, in the end, pleasure is not so pleasurable. After all, when we end up in these health clinics or the surgeon's table, the anus is not designed for something to be entered. It is the body's exit point for excrement. Things should be going out of the anus, not going in. It's an exit. Objects placed into the anus over time will cause the loosening of the muscles in the anus and soon the victim will have problems holding his shit. That's the street term. Or holding his feces. Or worse. All in the name of pleasure. And this is a fucking shame. We are all so dumb. Even animals look and are shocked at how stupid the human being has become. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Fucking is not good for us. But for many of us, it's very well worth the risk. Because the white man says it's all right. And clearly, if the white man puts his A-OK okay, if he puts his OK on something, it must be right. Fucking is also one of the reasons why so many become perverted and they seek little children or bring thoughts of rape. May I remind us that men are the only one who rapes. Some women have been known to rape. This I know from personal experience in that a woman almost raped me. If it wasn't for the fact that I could overpower her, it was a done deal. I was good as rape. You don't hear about it a lot, but it does happen. Men are abused and can get raped by women. Some men may find it attractive wanting a woman to rape them. But again, if it is an unwanted solicitation, for, uh, uh, for a man is just as bad. May I also add that women also abuse and beat men. Such is not the norm as I explained. But it does happen in many males. Many men are, are embarrassed to, to, to bring it up. They uh, report it and talk about it. Many men would not hit a woman. So, so some women take advantage of that. And they become the rapist or the abuser. Again. The results of fucking brings us more harm than good. I am now going to bring this to conclusion. That was one form of the sexual intercourse called fucking. Now we're going to go, I'm going to bring this to conclusion by speaking on another form of sexual intercourse called making love. Love making may be enjoyed by married couples or single persons that should be married. 
I'm not the morality sheriff. I don't I don't represent any religion. I'm not the uh, you know I I don't judge people. Uh, uh, I don't know whether or not you have to you're supposed to be married or, or or whatever in order to if you have love for one another and you decide that you don't want to get married and whatever that's I don't that's not for me to say I'm not I don't represent religion because usually that comes up in religion and even in society marriage in society is based on religious teachings but Making love requires a factor that lacks in that lacks in uh, fucking, and the difference between making love and fucking is the presence of love. Love between two individuals, two people. There's nothing like love. Love is almost indescribable. I can remember my feelings of love. Uh, I think I was in about the second or third grade. And it was this female I was attracted to. Her name was, I'm going to say her name because maybe she might be looking at this video. She said, I, I thought I knew that guy. Her name was Ida White. If you're after Ida, you know, you can always call her brother. You know, I still remember my, I mean, you always, you don't forget your first love. And uh, Ida probably still got it going on. Um, something about this young lady just made me just go bonkers. Uh, her physical makeup, she wore gl out glasses, her voice, something about just her presence. Just, you know, just makes your heart go pit a pat. And let's pit on pat to the next video. Hold on. We were talking about sexual intercourse is natural and it's a beautiful activity. Uh, but the way society but the way society paints sex makes it filthy and nasty. There are two forms of the sexual act. One is called just having sex, then another is called making love, and there's a difference, and I'm going to explain. Please excuse my words, because I wish to make a difference. Um, what is known as having sex is also known as fucking. What is fucking? Fucking, basically... It's just person looking for the pleasure that comes with the act of sexual intercourse. But this pleasure is very minute, it's very fleeting, and for some it becomes like an addiction caused by drugs uh, or the use of drinking liquor. Fucking's only purpose is pleasure. So when you fuck this means that you can include licking the vagina sucking the penis grabbing rub pieces of these rubber uh, uh, battery operated machines and whatever else they can get their hands on trying anything you can trying all kinds of different positions or whatever as possible uh, being more acrobatic than Ringling Brothers all this is part of what is called fucking. Just like using drugs or drinking alcohol, the feeling is very temporary when you are involved in fucking. And the so-called pleasure is not real, it's manufactured. It is delusional. This is why you must indulge in the activity over and over again. That's why you got to talk about sex over and over again it becomes an addiction is a obsession and the pleasure is temporary this obsession with fucking does not come without risk 
There are many diseases waiting to get in on the act. And some diseases will cause death. So instead of creating life, fucking can cause death. Fucking also creates health problems that society doesn't like to talk about. As the penis is not meant to be sucked. After time, the penis will begin to suffer problems like erectile dysfunction as well as other problems of the urinary tract. Also, excessive ejaculations uh, due to the act of fucking, but also what is called masturbation or uh, arousing, using your hand or whatever to, to uh, cause the penis to ejaculate, will bring disease to the prostate gland. And prostate cancer has become one of the biggest killers of black men. But you know, I guess it's worth it for the so-called pleasure. And as you're dying, I guess you're enjoying that pleasure also. The vagina is not meant to be licked. The protective fluids are taken away, causing yeast infections, opening up the vagina for attack by many microorganisms. In the, uh, in the end, pleasure is not so pleasurable. After all, when we end up in these health clinics or the surgeon's table, the anus is not designed for something to be entered. It is the body's exit point for excrement. Things should be going out of the anus, not going in. It's an exit. Objects placed into the anus over time will cause the loosening of the muscles in the anus. And soon the victim will have problems holding his shit. That's the street term. Or holding his feces. Or worse. All in the name of pleasure. And this is a fucking shame. We are all so dumb. Even animals look and are shocked at how stupid the human being has become. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Fucking is not good for us. But for many of us, it's very well worth the risk. Because the white man says it's all right. And clearly, if the white man puts his A-OK okay, if he puts his OK on something, it must be right. Fucking is also one of the reasons why so many become perverted and they seek little children or bring thoughts of rape. May I remind us that men are the only one who rapes. Some women have been known to rape. This I know from personal experience in that a woman almost raped me. If it wasn't for the fact that I could overpower her, it was a done deal. I was good as rape. You don't hear about it a lot, but it does happen. Men are abused and can get raped by women. Some men may find it attractive wanting a woman to rape them. But again, if it is an unwanted solicitation, for, uh, uh, for a man is just as bad. May I also add that women also abuse and beat men. Such is not the norm as I explained. But it does happen in many males. Many men are, are embarrassed to, to, to bring it up. They uh, report it and talk about it. Many men would not hit a woman. So, so some women take advantage of that. And they become the rapist or the abuser. 
Again, the results of fucking brings us more harm than good. I am now going to bring this to conclusion. That was one form of the sexual intercourse called fucking. Now we're going to go, I'm going to bring this to conclusion by speaking on another form of sexual intercourse called making love. Love making may be enjoyed by married couples or single persons that should be married. I'm not the morality sheriff. I don't I don't represent any religion. I'm not the uh, you know I, I don't judge people. Uh, uh, I don't know whether or not you have to you supposed to be married or, or or whatever in order to if you have love for one another and you decide that you don't want to get married and whatever that's I don't that's not for me to say. I'm not. I don't represent religion, because usually that comes up in religion, and even in society, marriage in society is based on religious teachings. But making love requires a factor that lacks in that lacks in uh, fucking. And the difference between making love and fucking is the presence of love. Love between two individuals, two people. There's nothing like love. Love is almost indescribable. I can remember my feelings of love. Uh, I think I was in about the second or third grade. And it was this female I was attracted to. Her name was, I'm going to say her name because maybe she might be looking at this video. She said, I, I thought I knew that guy. Her name was Ida White. If you're after Ida, you know, you can always call her brother. You know, I still remember. My, I mean, you always, you don't forget your first love. And uh, Ida probably still got it going on. Um, something about this young lady just made me just... Go bonkers. Uh, her physical makeup. She wore go out glasses. Her voice. Something about just her presence. Just, you know, just makes your heart go pit a pat. And let's pit on pat to the next video. Hold on. Yeah, I was just talking about my first love. Ida White. We were just talking about love and gym. That's the difference between fucking and love making. See, love, when you introduce love into this act, it, it, it makes a, a, a difference. Um, you know, I was talking about my first love, Ida. Um, she moved away. And uh, later on, now this is the thing about love. Even though Ida had moved away, and it was, I think it was years later, because I think it was the third, uh, I, was, I was in the third grade, and then I didn't see Ida again till high school. I was a sophomore in high school. So that's maybe seven years, possibly. And uh, the feelings for Ida came back. That, that's, that, that's, love is something else. I don't like love sometimes. It gets you in trouble, that feeling. But Ida, she liked, she didn't like nerds like me. She liked the mayor's son. You know, he was a jock. He was cool, whatever. And, uh, I, I wish them the best. Well, I did wish them the best. Who knows? She, she might not even be with that, that, that person. So, but anyway, um, love is just, when you add love to the sexual act, it makes a big difference. Because then it's not more, it's not just pleasure seeking. It's a way to become one with the person that you have feelings for. And you can see when you have, when you, uh, when you make love and produce children out of love, the children reflect those feelings that is between the two parents. 
When we factor love into sexual intercourse, it brings a whole new dimension in, into play. Because love makes us to wish to share and care about the other person all the while fucking is basically selfish. I got mine, you get yours. We fucking. Love making makes us over to uh, look over. It makes us to look over our partner's faults. We do not, I mean, when you're in love, there's a lot of things that you just ignore. We don't trip off penis size, uh, vagina size, how you shaped and how you look. It's just, because you just, whatever it is that you love, you love it all anyway. It don't make any difference. We are patient with each other's ability to pleasure. And in some cases, we'll deny our own pleasures so our partners can be happy. And in these things, for a long time, women have denied themselves because their love for their man was more important than temporary pleasure in the bedroom, even if it is indeed making love instead of fucking. Until recently, women have the ability to ignore such trivial things as sexual pleasure. But as the increase, as the increase of inequality and male oppression uh, have, have increased, out of anger, many women now rise to speak about what they seek and demand from men in the bedroom. And many men cannot live up to this macho image they themselves created. The man is so powerful, but then you uh, painted this picture of what manhood is supposed to do, supposed to be, and then when you can't perform in the bedroom, then another set of problems arise. In most mammals, the uh, sexual intercourse is not very long, and even so, it takes a lot of energy, so much energy that it leaves the male exhausted. This large loss of energy is the reason of why many men fall asleep after sexual intercourse. But pornography and general male machoism, that baloney, it makes men not to seek drugs and other pills in order to live up to these high expectations, of which is not normal in male mammals. This is again the result of a disease or can result in the disease of the penis. Of which now brings us a whole new set of problems. Nevertheless, if things are done correctly, making love brings us into a realm way beyond just seeking uh, pleasure. And then when life is born from making love, that child has a much better chance of being more mentally stable and having two strong parents. Fucking produces unstable children, usually with one parent, the child's ability to survive and become productive is much more in jeopardy, but all props must be given to some black women that even though they have become forced to raise both male and female babies by themselves, many due to being unselfish produce very good offspring. And this is what angers men. Because they have been taught a woman needs a man and she should tolerate his foolishness or his selfishness just to have one. And the woman has said, I think not. And she has proven beyond a shadow of a doubt, with or without you, Negro, I'm going to make it. We can fuck sometimes, as I may wish for a child, or maybe as a woman, I just want a child, or I just want pleasure from fucking. But I really don't need you, as I'm going to be a woman and enjoy this life I've been blessed with, with or without you. I personally, I personally, that's me, I'd rather be with her. As I could only become stronger with combined with another source of strength. It is a myth to call women the weaker sex when we see 
men unable to raise children, or, uh, uh, at least to say, they go crazy when women reject them or break up with them, many men killing the woman and themselves. Now, I'm going over this uh, this uh, series of videos. This was written prior to this uh, fella going into a L.A. fitness uh, gym and killing uh, three women because he was upset that women reject him. Now, this was an extreme case, but there are many men who get upset. In fact, it's a, it's a movement called True uh, Fourth Loneliness. There's a lot of men who are upset because women reject them, but if women are the weaker sex, you don't see women running around complaining. All the, well, they, they told me that there are some women part of that movement, but generally it's, it's, uh, it's these uh, men who are upset because they these women won't give them any attention. And we see the results. Nasty videos on YouTube. And in the recent case, even murder. But, Women, they say, the weaker sex. So, where is this women are weak? Where is, where is that coming from? It comes from a male-dominated society designed to give males some sort of edge over women. And women are denied true equality due to the fear they will prove all these things to be nothing but lies. Just like racism was designed to keep uh, white men in power. These myths mostly taught within religious belief systems. It's designed to control and keep males as the dominant gender. Unfortunately, like racism, the time is up. If it were not, uh, if it were not a male would not be writing about it. The time for this, what they call patriarchy, is up. Because if the time was not up, then you have more and more males who are speaking against a matriarchal system. Not to say that we support a, a matriarchal system. Oh, I got that backwards. I meant patriarchal system, meaning male domination. Uh, male or uh, patriarchal and matriarchal uh, systems, both of them suck. Okay? Point blank, both of them suck. If women were first, the reason why they fail is because they were doing the same thing that the males are doing today. They both suck. It's about equality. Or nothing at all. You got to get that through your head. And stop wanting one person. I got to be better than the other. Hold on. Got to go to the next video. And I'll repeat that again. Men in power. Having no respect for the female. Suck. Women in power, having no respect for the male, sucks. That's why both of both systems are failures. They need each other. The time is up. The dark peoples of the earth have been crushed, and women have been crushed. But truth, crushed to the earth, will rise again. The black man must understand it is his time to rise. But such rise cannot happen unless he is opposite of what his oppressor was. He must uplift black women and women in general or the black man will become stunted of what we see today. When we grab the heads of our women as true equals, 
or see women as true equals, we would begin to rise like never before in the history of humanity. All women must be allowed to take this journey as women is the black man, is the woman is your, one of your sources of strength. This is also the time of women. All that macho madness should be forgotten and thrown in the dumpster, thrown in the trash, uh, tossed out the window. Now, I said it once before, but I'm going to try to bring this to conclusion. It is natural for us to seek sex. That's natural. There's no biggie. Cool. I love women. What's wrong with a little sex? If you handle it properly, look at the anger you get from all these black woman bashers due to the difficulty or the inability to get sex, preferably from a female. Because they know any other form of sex is not real sex. They really don't want no another man's uh, anus. But they don't, they don't want that. Real sex with a woman has enormous power and influence. But we really don't know. Or we don't really don't know how to use it. I suggest that many of you sisters listen to other women talking about the power of your vagina. As this is coming from a male. Because when you understand your power and, and you have the ability to use it, such knowledge, if, you, if a woman understands her vagina or her female power, she can use that to make her men become better. So in our talk, we find the best sexual intercourse is that combined with a love factor. Many men are also angry uh, about, about uh, this because they feel they're not loved. They know there's no better feeling than that, than that of being loved by a woman. I was taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That a man doesn't look good. Until he looks good in the eyes of a woman. So even though I do, I do care about how men view me. It is not as important. As having the approval of women. As Elijah Muhammad knew even, even then. Where the real power was. But he was concentrated at that time on the men because the men lack so far behind. And still even to this day, the men in this struggle for black liberation, black consciousness, black men seriously still fall far behind the black woman. No matter how ignorant some of them may be. This is why male domination is so important to men because it gives them a false sense of being equal to women. Men are more inclined to the physical whereas women are more mental or more spiritual. And the reason for this is because they have a womb. Their womb gives them a connection to the dark womb of the universe. That which our very being comes forth. Men can help a woman, but we cannot produce or bring life into being. So men have become destroyers while women are caregivers. Whew! This is wonderful. Again, if you lose, uh, uh, what I, if you lose track of what I'm saying or you, if you want to make more clarification, you can always comment, of course, but I also put the transcript, if you want to call it that, in the Mo Info box. That way you can follow what I'm saying uh, a little bit better. And again, this is, uh, this is very uh, sort of long, but to bring this to conclusion, what well, again for the 
Third time. Sexual intercourse is a wonderful activity. Some of y'all say, it's surely, but for the wrong reason. Especially if you have found love. But did you know you can have sexual intercourse without having a physical vagina or a physical penis? Unlike the animals, the human being has been blessed with an amazing brain. Right here. Right here. Of which the capabilities are almost unimaginable. This brain is capable of connecting to that which it has created. Or that which has created the brain. And that is the womb of dark space. The womb of dark space brought into existence this brain. And this brain can connect into with its creator. Our brains are like the penis. Now, just listen to me a second. As there is nothing spooky or fiction about this, try this with me just for a second and you expect uh, you will experience sex again for the first time. Just take a little time and, and go outside in the dark. If you have a loved one, take them with you. Just look into the sky and allow all the thoughts of living this life let all the thoughts that live into this life, let that all fade into the background. Make your, your mind blank. Allow your brain, of which is the penis, to penetrate the vagina. Just look in the sky. Let all your thoughts of what happened yesterday and who you don't like and who you do like and your children, get all that out your mind. Let your mind go blank. Look in the sky. Allow your brain to be the penis. And just look at the sky and let your thoughts fade away. And let the eyes and the brain, and the eyes is what the brain uses to see through. Let the eyes focus on the dark void of space. The darkness of space is endless. But don't you know something? Your brain can comprehend all of it. As you allow your mind to relax. Your brain is like the, uh, uh, it takes on like the action of the penis. It begins to allow you to thrust your thoughts into the deep womb of space. And it carries, uh, and, and your brain carries spiritual or mental sperm into the womb of space and the sperm of the mind you become curious as you begin to just seek out into this void thrusting back and forth your mind just begins to wander just like when the penis is inside the vagina it's dark and it's void but it carries sperm. And then when the male ejaculates inside the woman, the sperm also goes into darkness. And your mind is shooting sperm, but it's thoughts like sperm. Oh, wow, this is so... I can't even... You know, this is, I really can't explain this. I really can't explain... It is so deep. I'm going to have to sit down and make another video how to, so I can really explain this phenomenon. But it's, it's not nothing uh, fictional. I want to bring this to conclusion next video, I promise. Hold on with me now. Woo! I, uh, that I think I'm going to make a video just on that subject because it's really, it's really deep. But it gives you something to think about because that thought goes beyond just the physical penis and the physical vagina. It brings you into another, another realm of thought to give you higher thinking. It gives you higher thinking 
spiritual thought without breaking into fantasy and fiction. I'm going to bring this to conclusion. I want you to think about that. Think about it. Try it. Go out in, into just go out and just look into space. Let your mind just just float. I'm going to talk about it later on in another series of video because really if you think about it, it's deep. But I will tell you this. We're, we who are living today will never be able to see the manifestation of those things. It's our responsibility to change our behaviors Turn our direction so that our future generation can bring that which is out there into our reality. It'll be our dream, our thoughts, our imagination, but it can be our children, our future reality. <laughs> Woo! We've been living on the level of animal for so long, we just can't comprehend. You got to get up out of that box, out of this foolishness. Stop thinking and behaving like slaves and stop thinking about I'm a, just a human being. You're not even on the level of a human being because if you was on the level of a human being, you could even begin to comprehend what I'm trying to say, what I'm attempting to say. I'm even, it's a mind-boggling thing to me. Something to think about. This is going to be the last video on this subject. Because we need something to think about. When uh, uh, that becomes, you just become so curi curious about what's out there. When that curiosity meets with the egg of the universe, it will manifest itself with the birth of a human child that will cause the answer to what you were curious about bring it into reality. This is incredible. It's, it's amazing when you think about it. We don't think so. I guess it don't mean too much to some of us. We act on emotion. We are emotion. We don't think about too much of nothing. While you meditate and allow your mind to connect with the universe, that brought you to uh, you and I into existence, you will experience a spiritual or mental orgasm, much like what is felt in the physical sexual experience, and tears will fall from your eyes as you felt a bit of the connection that is the womb. In the in physical sexual play, it's like when the male and the female both hit that uh, moment of sexual pleasure, she is getting to her ultimate arousal, he is getting to her ultimate arousal at the same time. That is the best of the pleasure that uh, physical sex can bring to us. So, if we turn that around and look at it in a spiritual, mental sense, as we Concentrate our mind on the womb of the universe into that dark space. That dark space which brought us into being. The original womb, the womb, not a womb. Women have a womb. That is the womb. As all of us, including the women, came from the womb of space. You can feel that connection. This is why men should never mistreat women, but honor them as they are the womb that will make manifest into the reality the picture of what you desire as your brain connects to the endless expansion of our reality known as space. And we have placed time upon we are limited because of our lifespan, so we, we have time. 
But in space, there is no time. It is endless. The only way we become endless and there is no time, if we understand the universe, we treat and understand and honor our vessel that causes us to continue into time, which is the black woman or women in general. The reason why human beings have not advanced like they should is due to obsession and degradation of the sexual act, as well as the exploitation of women. And women are the male's only vessel to the production of self, as well as his connection to higher levels of understanding. And the woman is the man's only connection to the womb of the universe itself. I uh, want you to, I want to thank you for listening, because I know this has been a uh, very long series. And uh, I will tell you, uh, this is a wonderful thing. Uh, if you look at the views, and if people are watching these series of videos, which contain five or more videos, and it gets up to a hundred or more, apparently there must be something that I am saying that's worth listening to. And for me, it's an honor, and I thank you so much for... Uh, uh, taking the time and giving me your ear. I love it. I hope that it helps us as a people to strive to begin to grow beyond this physical foolishness. Get us, help us to break once and for all this hold that the after effects of slavery has us. Because we are better. We are the gods and the goddesses of this universe. This is our time. This is, this is our time. This is our time. But if we continue to do what we've done in the past, then... There's nothing. What will happen is that another people will take our place. This is your time, our opportunity. If you don't take advantage of it, another people, I'm not going to say less worthy, because anybody who has suffered oppression and injustice is worthy. But this is your time, black man. This is your time, black woman. We got to get it together. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's what Sister Fannie Lou Hamer once said. Her life and sacrifice and the sacrifice and lives of other strong black men and women should not go in vain. It is time that we break, get this devil, this racist Caucasian off our backs once and for all. Don't do things the way they do. They are afraid of the upliftment of black people because they think once we become in power or we get a little power, we're going to jump on them and do the same thing to them like they done us. But if we did such a thing, then we'll be on the chopping block just like they're going out. Their time is over. This is your time, black man and woman. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. I'm going to greet you again and end this with peace forever and always. Assalamu alaikum, habarigani, shalom, and all the wonderful words that bring us peace. I'm your brother. I want us better. Stop saying that you gods. Stop saying that you goddesses and you number one. And be that. So no, I don't have to hear you say it. They will know it. And I'm out. I'm out of 5,000.